the short answer to the question is yes this series is valid and it will be valid maybe another five years time hi guys welcome back uh, today's video is slightly different uh, the video is different because this is the first time i'm coming on camera um, and uh, the reason i had to record this video is because uh, it's been almost three months since I recorded the last video and a lot of people are writing into me asking when is the next video coming? Uh, have I abandoned the series? One answer, no, I haven't abandoned it. I will be coming back. I will be recording a new video very, very, very soon. Um, I understand uh, and I really apologize that it's been almost five years since I started this series. My intention was never to delay the series but uh, I always knew that uh, this was never my full-time uh, gig, it was more like a, a part-time gig. Uh, I started that video and it, it became viral and, 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 and a lot of people liked my content and they kept requesting and I, and I started the series and it's been in five years I recorded about um, uh, 52 or 56 videos, roughly about 10 videos a year, which is a pity, you know, it, it is actually very slow and a lot of people have, I think I've got my fair share of criticism for that. Um, I don't do this full time, so it is not easy, but uh, there are a few things that's happening in my life which I think uh, is going to help the series. I should be able to complete the series very, very soon. So, uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to record today's video is one, uh, I wanted to give you an update, a status update of why uh, our videos are delayed and if we will be coming back. So like I said, we will be coming back very, very, very soon. Um, uh, so that's one. Second thing is I keep, I keep getting a lot of questions from a lot of people asking if I will be completing the series. Yes, I will be completing the series. So that's another, another question I get. Then I keep getting questions like, is the series still valid? Uh, they go see my first video, it was recorded in 2013, end of 2013, so technically 2014. So uh, now it's 2019, so they ask, is this series still valid after five years? Yes, it is valid. And it is valid because when, when Cisco changes uh, the syllabus of CCNA from CCNA version 2 to version 3 or version 3 to version 4, 80% of the content tend to remain, right? So ESPF, uh, OSPF is going to be OSPF, EIGRP is going to be EIGRP. These technologies are not going to change. They are old technologies. They're not new technologies or they're not evolving technologies. They're technologies that's been used for a very, very long time. So if they're teaching you those technologies in CCNA, then those technologies aren't there. So what if you learn uh, CCNA, if you learn OSPF or EIGRP using my video or any video on YouTube, even if it was a 20 year old video, if they taught you EIGRP then, it is going to be the same EIGRP now. So technically that question of whether it is valid is wrong because those technologies are not going to change unless those technology go away from your syllabus, right? So like I kept saying and like I, I'm going to tell that again, this series is always going to be valid because let's say from now, from version 3 to version 4 change or from version 2 to version 3 that got changed, Syllabus changed and I updated whatever the 20% Cisco changed, I updated in the syllabus onto, onto the series. So now when we go from version 3 to version 4, hopefully next year, I will update whatever changes that happens, I will be I will update it into the series. So let's say we, we finish the series before if let's say we finish the series before Cisco does that update of version 4, and let's say we finish the series at uh, day 70. I'm giving an example. Day 70, we complete the series. Six months later, Cisco updates uh, CCNF from version 3 to version 4. We will come back, I will add another 10 videos maybe, and I will cover the difference of 20% of, if, if it also adds new topic, 70%. I'm gonna add those topics into the series. So you'll have day 75, 71 to day 80 maybe, next 10 more videos that will update. So you're going to add, you're going to learn new, I mean, you might have learned few technology over the course of that, the series, which is no more in the series, in the syllabus, but those technologies are not going to change. So it's good that you have knowledge about those technologies and you will have the series. Um, and maybe but next year, and because some of the videos, when I started the series five years ago, I wasn't 
I, it was new for me. YouTube was a new medium. Recording was a new medium. Audio technology, no, not my cup of tea. So a lot of videos in the first few, uh, I mean, first few videos of the series uh, had terrible audio because I was recording it all wrong. I thought I would record it at, at maximum. So I, I, I kept the input audio at maximum. A lot of audio got clipped. Right, so uh, I had to speak to a couple of my friends who are audio engineers, and they said, "Don't clip your audio because you're losing a lot of data." And now I, I record at about 75 percent, 80 percent, so that all my audio data is captured, and then I do compression and normalization, whatever that I need to do. That I do audio processing later. So this is something that I've had added maybe in the last uh, 10 videos, 20 videos, right? So. What would change is uh, I would I mean depend this is something that I have not done just just telling you now uh, I either I would go and change the first few videos where audio was bad or I might re-record uh, let's say when I start re-recording when I finish this video of this who comes up with version four I will record a new video right I might not release the video until I record the entire series so in that case you'll not have this problem. So I will record the entire series and then I will release one by one. This is what was an ad hoc plan. And five years ago when I started this channel, I never in my wildest dream think that I would be recording videos five years later for the same series because I do not have a plan. I just started that video, first video I uploaded and then it caught on. People love the video, they started writing to me, they asked me to uh, you know, add more videos and then I that convert got converted into a series and five years later we are here. So uh, to, to the short answer to the question is yes this series is valid and it will be valid maybe another five years time right. Uh, so this is something that I wanted to address um, uh, and I, 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 I hope you guys are going to support me. Uh, also, uh, I keep another. I keep getting another question uh, asking if the series is enough to pass pass your test. For a lot of people, for ICND one, definitely this is more than enough. ICND two, you would need a little more practice, and you some some of you might need to refer uh, a book. There are a lot of good authors. I I would put some links uh, in the description of this video. But uh, for a lot of you this video series should be enough and now that we're getting into the real meat of CCNA with OSPF, EIGRP, -E I think I will try and put more labs, uh, practice labs and more scenarios on, on our website. So you can go to our website and download those labs and uh, scenarios and practice because CCNA is as much a practical oriented exam because what's the, I mean of course there is a lot of theory that you learn, you try to learn the technology but you also try, you, Cisco want you to learn their command line interface, right? So CLI is what Cisco is trying to teach you with CCNA. So practice is the only way you're going to get uh, perfect. So download Packet Tracer, free Packet Tracer, Genesis 3, or if you can get access to physical devices, nothing like it. Practice. When we teach you something, practice. You should know these commands by heart. Right? You need to know if, if let's say, for instance, uh, you get a question on, on, uh, on your test, uh, speaking about some technology, you need to know where that is. You know, in your, if you're accessing it through command line, where is it in the global config mode? Is it a router subcommand? So when you reach to a level where you know these by heart, you know, at least if not by heart, the entire command, because of course, in real life, you can always do, you know, you, you know, out of auto, uh, completion is there so and also you could put a question mark it will, it will tell you but if you know have a basic idea of the structure and uh, where certain commands and where certain configurations are done I think you should be good enough and CCNA quite honestly is not experts it's not CCIE we're talking about CCNA it's an associate level program which means that they don't really expect you to be an expert they don't want you to know everything that is there to know a lot of things at your CCNA level, a lot, a lot of things that's there in in, in, uh, in your command line, in CLI, uh, of your device, you won't even touch because you don't even know. I mean, they, Cisco does not expect you to know that and you won't really need it, right? Of course, when you go to CCNP level, CCI level, that's a whole different work game. You know, if you're going to CCI, you need to know everything about your CLI. But at CCNA level, you don't need to. So don't worry too much. 
but practice is important. Uh, I think I uh, addressed uh, concerns that I had to address in this video. And like I said, stay tuned. We will be back very, 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 very soon. Uh, and we'll continue the series. Until I see you guys again, Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.